Our censorship has been a controversial topic in recent years, especially within the comedic world. Our censorship is the suppression of words, images, or ideas that are deemed offensive. Art censorship has devastated the comedy world, with comedians such as Dave Chappelle and Pete Davidson, along the lines with TV shows like BoJack Horseman and South Park. While there are some points against the use of offensive or dark comedy, like the impact on children and the moral of some of these jokes, art censorship has severely hurt and even ruined a lot of people's careers because of their certain type of comedy. Comedians of like have been ridiculed and some of their careers even ended because of the problem with art censorship. One of these comedians is Dave Chappelle. There have been a lot of negative reviews made towards Dave Chappelle with many of his specials on Netflix like Sticks and Stones and The Age of Spent. Although it has been, as all these specials have brought a lot of traffic and revenue to his shows, many of the reviews have been negative and not deserved. For example, Sticks and Stones on Netflix has been giving a 39% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. However, fans and viewers alike think differently from these critics, giving uh, the special a 99% rating. Pete Davidson is also another comedian that faces a lot of backlash with this kind of humor. He is no newcomer to criticism, angering many with his dark humor on SNL and his Netflix special Alive from New York. Davidson received a lot of hate, specifically with a joke he made about Senator Lieutenant Commander Dan Crenshaw, even warranting warranting the senator to come on to SNL and Davidson apologize publicly. This has caused a lot of stress and mental health problems for Davidson, driving him to the point to even leave all of social media. Comedians aren't the only people that face this type of backlash. TV shows, although censorship is high on public television, it doesn't stop some of the shows to break rules and not care if they offend people, resulting in years of hate and ridicule. One of the big shows that has faced a lot of ridicule in recent years has been the show South Park. It's been a topic of controversy since its debut in August of 97, for things such as crude language, sexual innuendos, and drug use on the show. Even today, amongst well-supervised children and media, the South Park sneak in these offensive jokes and still defies people's expectations, uh, and it even offends just as many as it entertains. Another show that does this is the show BoJack Horseman on Netflix. Although it is not as public as regular cable show like South Park, BoJack Horseman still carries its weight in offensive material and walks the trail that South Park has made for it. Even with its elaborate subtext and culture, BoJack does not strive away from that dark humor illustrated by its writers. It seems like BoJack's philosophy with broadcasting is to offend everyone so they don't seem like they are targeting one group of people, but instead have a uh, social observation on our society. Now, I do understand that a lot of these uh, comedians and shows can be poisonous uh, and cause a lot of toxic media. Although many find the cruel nature of these comedians and TV shows entertaining, some are opposed to these offensive actions by these creators and performers. Some topics are just too serious to joke about like 9-11, the LGBT community, and school shootings. Even though some groups do find these offensive jokes funny or even humorous, laughter can be used dangerous, be, can be used as a dangerous weapon and used against someone's well-being and mental health. With offensive comedy, things can be blurred between what's on the table and what's classified as too serious of a topic. Laughter can be used to help one's career and demolish another's mental health. The same can be said when the situation is reversed. Many comedians depend on their dark humor to defer from the rest, and sometimes these negative comments and reviews can damage their own health as well. At the end of the day, art censorship should be left to with art forms, specifically with comedy, where a lot of the material is very subjective. I will end this, this speech with a quote about censorship and free speech by Nigel Warburton. He says, In a civilized society, Freedom to offend should be protected. Thank you.